Has anyone else had that relatable teenage experience? You know, moving to a new town, finding love, discovering magic and a serial killer? No? No, just me? I thought that was a relatable teen thing. Because that's what Cammy does in Letters in the Attic, which is an indie YA fantasy mystery by Meredith Lindsay. It follows a young girl called Cammy, who has pretty much been chased out of her old town due to her father causing a drunk driving accident that claimed his life and two others, unfortunately. Her and her mother are looking to have a fresh start in the town of Green Peaks, but things are not what they seem. Something's drawing her into the woods, and she's finding love letters in the attic. Just where is this gonna lead? I would say my only complaint about this book uh, was the ending. It was kind of convenient and a little anticlimactic. Um, I know she was scared and it was it was a very big event. Obviously I'm trying to talk about it without telling you the ending. But I, I kind of wish Cammy had managed to stand on her own two feet a little bit for it. Um, or had been a little bit more involved in the solution. Even if she had to hold someone's hand for moral support, I would be happy with that. But it was just would have been a bit more cathartic, I guess, if the main character had managed to do a little bit more for it. And don't get me wrong, it fit the story, it fit themes, so I am happy with it. And as much as it was maybe a little anticlimactic, I appreciate that it's a standalone and everything was wrapped up in the end, and it was satisfying, at the very least. It didn't commit that much of a sin. <laughs> However, the greatest thing about this book, the greatest thing is, oh my god, teenagers, bro. The author has an amazing ability to get into the mind of a teenager. Cammy and her friends are wonderfully written. As much as there are some cultural things that I struggled with because I'm from the UK and this book is set in the US, uh, there were also some universal teenage girl mechanisms that just happened in this and I find lots of them happened with her mother as well there was a lot of eye rolling at her mum but there was also this complete unconditional love between them as well it was so sweet every time the two of them had a scene it was like ah this is this is a relatable moment right here <laughs> I highly recommend this book if you are looking for some classic YA teen girl mysterious boy and a sprinkle of magic and mystery this book will leave you smiling, happy for Cammy, and happy for a happy end. So if you really need a bit, bit of a pick-me-up book, I would suggest this. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more!